squad, we back at him again, man, when they thought it was finna end. Thank y'all for riding with me when you knew you fell a lot. Then with your boy, Stories V. At this time, family, y'all know what I need y'all to do for us. Like, share, comment, smash that subscribe button, y'all. We're on that rule to 100K. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's an honor and a pleasure. So listen, kick back, relax. You can take that seat on the bed or cop a squad on the toilet seat. I got the rest of the show from here. To that one and only V squad. It'll the model, man. Listen. Ain't no squad like our squad because they don't mob how we mob. So with that being said, we're going to continue to push, mob, put them numbers up, and dominate 2024. It's our year. If you would like to support the channel through Cash App, boom, it's listed right there. If not, please join the memberships, man. Exclusive content over there. You definitely want to get involved. If you would like to come on the show and tell your story or have a story told through V, jump in that comment section. Or better yet, damn me on one of my platforms. We would let to have you on. Without further ado, mob, y'all know the drill. Kick back, relax, grab them wraps and them snacks. I got some heat coming y'all way. AV mob, let's go. What's up, mob? Kicking it off for the top, man. Story number one, Cruddy Buddies, part two. Let's dump straight into it. So, boom. Now, kicking it off for the top. I told you, right after the fact, big bro had dumped the money on little bro chest. So, now, little bro jumped up. He's super hype, man. What the fuck you got going on? He tell him what the move is. So, now, little bro sitting right there like, well, man, no. You ain't ready to just get all this money, man. Put me yeah. in. So, so, now, the whole time, big bro done already got bit by the bug because... He has already went out there on his own and he done already pulled his first mission. So now Lil Bro looking at it like, well, shit, we both just was getting bullied. I feel as though I'm just as tough as you is or just as weak as you is. Come on, put me in. So now the whole time both of them sit right there on the floor. They separate all the phones. Boom, move the phones over there. Take the batteries out of them. Turn them off. Boom, they clear with that. They sit right here. They get the thumbing through the rest of the bread. <laughs> Now, when they thumb through the money, they see how much they got. They probably got like 2500 Like I told you, it was a nice suburban little county kid dice game. Eight to ten people. All of them probably got like two, three hundred, maybe $500 on them. They had a nice little hit. So, boom. Whole time after they thumb through the money, little bro looking like, well, man, I need me a joint too. You can't be the only one with a joint. He like, all right, well, look, I'm ready to go holler at my homeboy, grab you another Now, big bro jump on the phone. Boom. He call his homeboy. He shoot over there. He gets over there. Now, his homeboy that sold him the little 380 now, they both sit down in his house. They right there get the rabbit man what you got going on out here how you coming right back what happened to the joint i just gave to you now big bro go to breaking the game down to him listen man i told you what my plan was yo i ain't playing out here i still got the joint that you sold me i need this one for little bro so now the homeboy looking like come on son you ready to bring your little brother into this shit yo come on you know he not really built for this to be honest i love you to death yo you not really built for this i don't even want y'all getting involved in this and then more so I don't even want to be involved in this because I'm the one selling y'all the weapons. God forbid anything happen, y'all get grabbed up. In the homeboy mind, he looking at it like, I don't know how y'all going to carry it because the friend, he used to selling all his weapon to certified street dudes. So he already know if they get grabbed up, they ain't going to do no telling. Now, these two guys, even though he more closer to them, like they got a real friendship. He really know them. And like I always tell y'all, when you really know somebody, you know what they will do and what they won't do. So now he done got the plan in his mind, man. These two ducks might fuck around and end up telling them if they ever get grabbed up. But he go ahead and make his money. He run in the bag, grab another joint, come out front, give it to the big bro. Now, before big bro leave, big bro tell a homeboy, like, look, man, I know you said you ain't trying to get down with this situation. But I'm telling you, you might as well get in before this shit get too big because I'm telling you where I'm taking it to. So now the homeboy looking like, man, what is you talking about? Big bro tell him, listen, man, I'm I'm going to take this shit to a whole nother level. You might as well get down with us. You the one that's giving us the joints. You know about. You already plugged in with certain situations that we could use to our benefit. Meaning you already selling weapons to guys that got dope shops, weed shops, whatever the case may be. We can use your inside intel so we can go in and jack these dudes. Man, why are you acting like you care about them? They don't know you. If it came down to it, they'd do something to you. So now the homeboy looking like, man, I mean, I think about it, bro. I'll holler at you later. He dabs him up, get up out of there. But now the whole time, Big Bro done just put something on, uh, on his homeboy mind like, shit, you trying to get this money or what? So now the homeboy sitting right there on the living room chair, he just thinking like, man, should I get down or should I not? He go ahead and pawn his thoughts, but he go ahead and shake it off. Big Bro dip, he go back to the crib. As soon as he get back home, his little brother right there at the front door waiting for him. Man, did you get it? Did you get it? Big bro like, yeah, come fuck on, man, come upstairs. They breaks in the house, runs upstairs, they go back into the bedroom. Now, when they get in the bedroom, sit down, big bro whip the joint out, he give him his. All right, look, yo, don't be doing nothing crazy. Keep it in here. Do not have it on you unless we ready to go do a mission. And then he begin to break down the rules. All right, look, this how I go. Make sure you always got your mask on. Make sure you always got your gloves. Make, make sure, sure you, you always keep one in the head if needed, but make sure you don't have your hand on the situation. He more so schooling them for real because now they ready to pull their mission tonight. So little bro sitting there looking like, man, when we going? 
gonna score again. Big bro tell him we going out tonight. That's why I'm giving you the rundown. So chill out. I'm ready to go scope the scene. Later on when I come back, make sure you see it and boot it. We gonna go handle that business. Little bro like, all right, that's a bet. But now he just sitting there in the room. Of course, y'all know what he doing. He right there in the mirror just looking like, yeah, it's my turn now. So now he working himself up that he ready to jump out. He, he ready to jump out there and do his one, two. Boom, big bro dip out, he go jump in the car, run around the store, grab him a pack of woods, run down the little strip that's on his block. Now the dudes that hustle on his street, he ain't bothering them because he got a little rapport with them because big bro and little bro, they both smoked at the grass real, so they will go out there, holler at the dudes on their block, they locked in with them, they not really more so bothering them. He run to the store, grab a pack of woods, shoot down to the bottom of the block, grab his grass. Now, they next operation, they next mission is four blocks over. The little dudes got a little weed spot at the bottom of the block. It's a bar right here, then it's an abandoned house right here, right next to the bar. That's where the little dudes trap out of. So now Big Bro jump in his car, he go around there, he park at the top of the block. When he park, he just more so scoping the scene, see who outside going today, and then he gonna wait till the night shift come. Him and little Bro gonna pull down there, get their shit off. Boom, Big Bro pull to the top of the block, roll up one he just scoping the whole scene watching how they block operate from nightfall to about 8 30 at night now when nightfall come he go ahead and get up out of there he didn't say anything he need to see all right they got three four runners right there look out across the street the whole time he real lax the days who always on the phone not paying attention look like they might got a header across the street he got the joint on the tire but he more get so them. three first or he might not even be here at night big bro just putting all the options he just playing all of he just playing all the situations how everything can go through his head boom he pulled off go back home when he get back to the crib, he tell his brother, come on, you ready? Lord bro said, yeah, he suit up, boy, North face up, jagged shades, gloves on, socks, uh, got the sweatpants tucked in his socks, Nike boots, he ready to go. Boom, they jump in the car, they pull around there. Now, when they pull around the little opposition block, or the little dudes that they raid jack, this is the way the plan ready to go. Now, we gonna park the car, boom, I need you to go around, or I'm gonna drop you off on the other end of the block. So, you gonna be coming down this way, the, the, the trap is right here. One gonna come this way, the other big bro gonna park the car, they going to meet in the middle, boom, jag them, walk them in the house, do what they do. Or they might just jag them right there in the steps, catch whoever they can catch outside and get up out of there. Boom, they do just that. Big bro pull, he dropped his little brother off on the end of the corner. Boom, he pull around the block, he set up, jump out the car. Now they really meet in the middle. Little bro start walking down, he yell out, whoa, niggas got some grass out here, bro. Whole time the two little dudes that sitting right there, they say, hell yeah, what you trying to do? Now, little bro and big bro, they really got the ups right now because the dude who was supposed to be the lookout across the street that was there earlier that day, he gone. And the little homie said guy that was across the street supposed to be the muscle, he gone too. So it ain't nothing but three little dudes out there running the strip at this time. Boom. So the Lord dude say, yeah, what you trying to do? He say, shit, man, give me a seven now. The whole time, the two, the three guys that's right there, they facing this way, focusing on little bro that's walking down the street. Now they got their back turned to big bro. So big bro walking this way. The two Lord dudes go up under the stash by They grab it. Now the three Lord dudes that's out there hustling, they all fighting for the sale. No, let me hit him. Let me hit him. No, what you trying to get, bro? Let's smell this. Smell this. Everybody trying to promote their brand. So all three of them take off after they grab their stashes from under the steps. All three take off running the walls, little bro trying to show them what grass they got. Whole time before they get right in front of them, little bro just straight up, man, bitch, don't none of y'all move. Whole time they turn around trying to think they got a chance, big bro right there, man, I wish the fuck y'all would lay it down right now. Whole time all three of them lay down, Boom. big bro tell him run their pockets, keep everything in order. Whole time little bro start running their pockets, big bro run back over to the steps where the little dude was running under the stash by that. He goes up under there, grab everything, he tell him come the fuck on. Little bro start breaking down the street, they jump in the car, skirt. Woo, they asses all, boom. They make it back to the crib, same routine. Runs upstairs, shut the bedroom door, sit on the floor, take their mask off. Heart beating through their chest, uh, heart beating through their chest, adrenaline running a thousand miles an hour. The whole time they dump that money out on the bed, they like, let's get it. Whole time, man, they got damn near maybe like a whole pound of Zy bust down in the 3.5s. They got a they got a little sandwich bag full of 10s, 20s, and 5s, so they don't know how much it is, but they really count it out. So now it's official. Lil' bro and big bro, they ain't playing out here no more. They on a what? Cruddy buddy tip. Part three coming tomorrow. With that being said, family. Just speaking it all, we big Joe. Drop that same Joe. Just go to his curry. Even just now, I'm gonna get back to the credit.